Hi, my name is Sam Miller, and today we're talking about the Canon T3i, a camera that came out in 2011, and it's now 2018. So is it still a good camera for vlogging or other video use? Let's find out. Okay, so let's talk about some of the, the key features of the T3i and what makes it different from some of the cameras that are available now. So the first thing right off the bat is it shoots 1080p and in both 30 and 24 frames a second, that's great. 24 frames a second, you can get that nice cinema, that nice cinematic look. And 1080p is still, still enough these days. One of the things I love about the T3i is it has the flip out screens. You can see what you're doing off to the side in your peripherals or you can look right at it if you want to look back at the camera, make sure you're in focus. Um, it's a really nice feature to have, especially if you're a beginning vlogger or any vlogger for that matter. You wanna be able to see what you're doing. It's got the you know regular tripod mount on the bottom, so you can hook up a Joby tripod and carry it around wherever you're going. Um, and the hot shoe mount, so you can put a light up there, you can put a microphone up there, that's what I use. Another thing that the camera's got going for it is it takes any EFS lens, um, or EF lens for that matter. Some of the problems with the camera are, first and foremost, the autofocus. There is no autofocus on video mode for this camera. Now then later, Editions of the same model, the T6i, I believe, does do autofocus in, in, in video shooting, but not, not this one. So that's the biggest drawback in my opinion. You can't get that wide angle you could if you had um, a full frame sensor. What really sets a video apart isn't necessarily the camera. A lot of people think, oh, I just if I had a better camera, I'd be able to take great videos. I'd be able to do that creamy slow-mo um, and my videos would look great. But actually, it's really all about the lighting. You need great lighting. Right now, all I have is the natural lighting. It's not, it's not great, so my, my, my look here isn't fantastic. It's not super professional. Um, just working with what I've got. I think the T3i is still a better vlogging uh, camera than an iPhone, even an iPhone 7. Um, can't say for the 10 since I haven't upgraded yet, but it's just real glass. There's just a different feel you get when you shoot video on a DSLR versus an iPhone camera. You have complete control over the ISO and the shutter speed and the aperture, whereas you don't with a phone camera unless you're using something like Filmic Pro, which costs money, and again, it's just, it's just a phone. Okay, I'm losing daylight fast, but I just wanted to do a little bit of a talking head walking around with the camera on the tripod just so you can kind of see what it looks like when I'm walking around. Again, there's no autofocus, so I couldn't put my hand up and show you something here or show you someone back there in focus. Um, whatever you set it at when you hit record is, is the focus you're gonna get. Now I could flip my lens over to manual focus and do some adjustments while I go, but it's just a shot in the dark. There's really no guarantee that I'm gonna get a nice crispy focus from doing that. It's pretty late in the day, it's about five o'clock in the winter, so the natural light is fading fast, but you know, depending on your needs, if you've got the on-camera mic like I do, and you're just walking around in natural daylight, it can take a pretty good, take a pretty good shot. This stock kit lens aperture, lowest it goes is a 3.5, so it's just not going to give me that creamy background that I really want. Um, but it does a it does a decent job. And again, this is a crop sensor camera, so I'm not going to get that real wide shot that I could on a full frame camera. Um, but it'll work for a beginning photographer. So that's it, thanks for watching. Again, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and say that the T3i is still a good camera to use in 2018 with a small asterisk, depending on what your need is, if you can do without the autofocus, and if you can do with the kind of limitations in the, in the sensor and the processing power. But again, it's a great camera, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Does it still have a place in videography and film and talk?